Yeah, this was a fun job yesterday, painting it on the floor. You replace some fiberglass down there. Bumpers. Parts. And today we're working on a Subaru Outback. Not the first time I've done this color combination, blue with the gray lowers. Apparently this had a little off-road expedition. So we're going to get this masked up. I'm going to seal it in a slightly darker color. A few coats of blue down, get some clear down. And there's also, where'd they go? I have moldings. These moldings are body color. The lower ones I already painted, they're the other color. And um, gas flap. So four more plastic parts, a gas flap, and this car. Halfway there. Yeah, so I was thinking, how do cigarettes get there? Was it a two cigarette air filter change? Maybe? No, it doesn't look like anything has been serviced here in a long time. It's just a curiosity, I guess. Huh. Here's a good demonstration on this stuff again. It's got a little sticky side there. Stuck it inside, hanging out, close the door, and just tuck it in. Take it in past that primer line, past all the edges. Whoops. Not my favorite way to do this, but this is fast. And I gotta get this done. Oh, the foam tape moved inside a little bit right there. That's okay. Friday morning now. It's like we got a little snow. And I bet you want to go in again, huh? You want to go in? <laughs> All right. Yeah? You do? Do you? Are you sure? What? what do you have anything else to say? Oh, hey, look cold. Hey, well, not quite a winter wonderland, but it's a dusting for sure. <laughs> Some of the roads are a little slippery back there. But I think it's starting to turn into starting to warm up a little more now. Alright, it's lunchtime from my quick little ride in this morning. Look what's all over the Jeep. Salt. It is covered in salt. Must have had a lot of black ice early in the morning. What does salt bring us? What does it create, pisser? Rust. Lots of rust. Okay, I'm working on an older Volvo right now. It's been painted a few times. Uh, one of the guys prepped it for me because he was running out of things to do. Um, the hood was sanded down to 600. and I was thinking of just laying some silver down over this, but I'm going to seal it. It's kind of a cure-all if there's any problems. I've been trying to get some of the guys to do uh, a little guide coat. And um, we do a lot of dry sanding just because it's fast, doesn't leave a lot of sludge. Um, it just helps you move jobs through. Uh, but the way the, um, 
primer will uh, kind of powder up. If this little pinhole is little tiny imperfections, you're not really going to see them if you don't guide coat um, or just really watch. Be careful with what you're doing. So um, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, what PPG calls spirit wipe. Sickens it was M600. It's just a prep solvent. And I noticed this when I was uh, wiping it down. I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. You can see little areas that didn't get sanded all the way in. Um, it's really not showing it. Towards the back, there's an area over there. Let's see if it'll come out. Right there, it looks kind of dull. I don't know if it's picking up on this camera or not. Um, most paint jobs, that wouldn't be a big deal. Silver. That would show up as a dark area, kind of dull. Yeah, I think you can see it right in there. Um, if it was any worse than that, I'd re-sand, but um, like that Subaru I just did, this is an older car. No matter what I do, it's gonna look a lot better than it was. And um, so I'm gonna seal it. Sealer will fill that in. And it's just a smart way to go for a light metallic anyways, if you can. Don't have to, but... So we're going to seal this because of that. And uh, that'll save kind of a strange looking paint job from happening. Alright, there she is sealed. Buried the majority of that. Still see a tiny bit of it, but it's, it'll be okay. sealed over the primer here, and I melted in this edge like you do a clear coat No, I just hit some, uh, some straight reducer in, my, uh, in a clean gun and just dusted that edge just to make sure that nice and flat transition there, because I'm going to do my uh, base coat now. Yeah. Good way to avoid this, do all the work yourself. <laughs> Day I get to come up with a blue and a green and make a paint on pinstripe, two-tone. This fender is pretty beat. It's got multiple paint jobs. Pretty much just blend on this one. You can see where it's been painted before a couple of times. Work there. Couldn't do much about that. And that area that I sealed for, it's all covered now. It's a nice thick clear too. DC 4000 Deltron. And I just got a little cutting and buffing to do Monday. Not much. It paid extra to buff the whole car. That's not fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was hazy right up in here near that giant piece of dust that's right there. Um, as I did the bumper, started on that side, came around. Halfway down the fender, I ran out of clear on my last coat. So I had to run in the mixing room, make a little more, hammer this out. But this had already started to tack off a little bit because this clear is pretty fast. So it was a little hazy up in there, but it looks like it's flowed in finally. So yeah, fairly simple cut and buff. This thing will be fine. This is an older car, kind of a beater, but looks pretty nice now. Hey guys, it's Friday. Just got home and uh, saw something cool came in the mail. Check it out. Very cool. RASD Formetta. I've checked out your your uh, videos a few times so far. I got, I got some more catching up to do on them, but a uh, very cool project. It's a, that car is looking really good. Thank you very much, sir. The YouTube wall is growing. I, I've been I've sent a couple out a few days ago, and 
of my uh, solder jet little metal things, but uh, they're taking way too long to make. I gotta figure out something cool. Like, that's a pretty good idea, that magnet. All right. Time for puppy exercises. Come here. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Come here.